was 1987. I was about 11 years old when it happened. I um, went to just a North Carriage with my sister and her mom. Then she said that she wanted to go to the popular pizza place known as Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. My mom didn't really have a problem with that. She had had done good enough, and I didn't really care. So we went there. When we got there, I was startled by how cl clean the place was. I mean, yeah, it had a few pictures. Well, a lot of drawings. Ugh. Looked like the walls were nothing but paper with drawings of the characters. We walked through the hall. There were some party rooms with cheering kids. Then I looked over to the stage. There were three robots. I didn't know who they were. I mean, I knew that they were here, but I didn't know their names. But I later found out after they introduced themselves. Apparently, the bear was named Freddy. The bunny was named bon Bonnie. And the, and the chicken was named Chica. They sang three songs. Pretty enjoyable, even for my age at that time. And... They even mentioned the robots that there was a area for the toddlers. There is a foxy character that I didn't know of. My mom said that I could walk my sister over there, assuming that she was only four years old. I said that I would walk her over there, so I did. When it when she entered the room, I was shocked to see there was a white box. It was a girl because it had pink on it, and, I, and it was speaking. But I think the creepiest thing about it was it was completely destroyed. Its endoskeleton was showing. Its body was completely torn off. Its animatronic fox head was almost the only thing that was suited on her, except for her feet and hands. Look, I even saw a second head, possibly a parrot. It was just an endoskeleton head now, with one eye. I didn't want to look too deeply into it, but I don't know why, but some... Foxy is to be one of my favorite out of all of them. I don't know why. I just had a sense of connection with it or something. I walked back. I ate some pizza. And I need to go to the bathroom. So I asked my mom if I could. She said I could. I walked into the bathroom. It didn't take me long to find it, because it was in the same hall as the girl. I went to the bathroom for a little bit, and then I started to get uncomfortable, because the place had got much quieter all of a sudden. I walked outside when I was done. I'd even wash my hands because I wanted some sort of assurance that I wasn't alone. To my dismay, I found that no one was there. Everyone had gone. I was scared because not even my parents were there. Why would they leave without me? Then I heard something weird. Sounded a bit like footsteps. I saw 
out of my place and looked around. No, nothing was in sight. But in that moment, I w when I went into one of the party rooms, I saw Bonnie staring at a camera with the guitar in his hand in perfect stillness. Then, in a split second, his head turned to face me with a blank stare. I fell down in shock, not knowing what to do.